What's up, VPI enthusiast? I hope you're having a great day. This is Jose from Metis, and today we'll go over how to lend and borrow using Ave on Metis. As you may or may not know, there is a $5 million DeFi incentive program recently launched on Metis. This program aims to boost new and existing ecosystem platforms, starting with blue chip protocol Ave V3. If you want to learn more about it, click on the link that we have on our description. Let's get to it. First, let's go to Ave.com and launch the DAP. Before we move on, let's pretend we just bridged into Metis. We just bridged either from any other blockchain or we withdraw from our centralized exchange to Metis. So now we're here. And guess what? We haven't connected Metis to the MetaMask wallet and whatever currency we bridged in, we haven't added it to our wallet yet. So the first thing that we should do is go to chainlist.org. Look for Metis. You're gonna see Metis Andromeda Mainnet and that one's the one. We will connect our wallet, yes. Connect. Metis, approve. Yes, changing from BNB chain to Metis Andromeda. Yes, sir. So now we're connected to Metis. And what will be the next step? Coin Gecko. And once I'm in CoinGecko, I would go to USDC, look for the contract address specifically for Metis. We're gonna scroll down a bit and we're gonna find it, Metis Andromeda. So we copy it, we go to our wallet, import these tokens. So we just paste the contract address. You're gonna see immediately pops up the USDC you're gonna see that I have almost 100 USDC in here. So import tokens and boom, they magically appear in our wallet. Yes, sir. So, okay, we keep going. Now let's get back to it. We connect our wallet to Aave. What wallet would it be? In my case, it would be a browser wallet. Boom, I already had it connected, so I didn't have to confirm, but you would just see a little sign here to confirm that you wanna to connect to the site. In this case, it's app dot ave dot com yes we do want to so now we're here we go to markets and we can see the different assets tether usdc metis wrapped eth dai we can see the total supplied or the size of the markets we can see what's the apy for supplying these assets and the interest that you're gonna pay if you want to borrow this asset as well so in my case like i said i have usdc so what do i want to do i want to go into the usdc pool and first i want to supply so i want to supply usdc and to be honest i want to supply all so personally i'm gonna hit max right here so i have 98.5 usdc to supply i want to supply it all so approve usdc and continue so i would approve the usdc i will approve 98.5 5 USDC or 0.52. This is a very cool feature that MetaMask recently released to make sure that you're approving only up to a certain amount of money for each transaction. So, yes, yes. And now, yes, we want to supply this MUSDC. So now it's all done. You should just approve the contract once and boom, you actually execute the transaction. Now we are providing almost $100 of USDC. I can borrow almost up to $80. I can borrow 78 USDC. Do I want to borrow USDC as well? Not really. Let's see what I can borrow out here. So I'm supplying USDC. I can borrow Tether. I can borrow Metis. Wrapped ETH, DAI. In this case, let's borrow some DAI. So yeah, we're gonna borrow some DAI and we're gonna borrow just 50 DAI. Actually, like you can borrow up to 
or 80% in some cases of your original position. Personally, I never borrow more than 50%. In this case, let's say that our max is 78. You know what? Let's borrow 39. Boom. And all set. We are good to go. We have supply almost $100 of USDC and we have borrowed $39 of DAI. That is pretty much it. It's very important to keep in mind that just as any other DeFi product, lending platforms, even those like Aave, battle tested and some of the most respected platforms in the industry, carry some risks as well. In this case, the liquidation risk. Make sure to learn more about it before engaging in activities with these platforms. In traditional finance, there's a phenomenon called the multiplier effect. Banks can expand the economy by making loans and enabling liquidity for those who want it. In crypto, Aave is the crypto bank. Aave can expand the ecosystem's economy by lending a lot of these crypto funds. That way, expanding and Medis DeFi itself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and buckle up because the Medis journey is about to start.